There's no food. I know. What are we going to eat? Let's go out. Go out? Why not? We never go out. We're not trendy enough anymore. I want to go somewhere trendy. No one says trendy anymore. Oh. Don't they? Says who? I don't know. They just don't. It dates you. Well, what do they say? They say hipster. You mean trendy's not trendy anymore? Definitely not. God damn it, I'm so out of touch. That completely proves my point. We need to get out. Let's go somewhere... Hipster? You can't say that. We could go to a hipster joint. I can't say that. Why not? Well, because I sound completely fucking ridiculous, that's why. I want to go somewhere new, is that okay? It'll do. Somewhere where everyone wants to go. Like where? Toast. Toast in Clerkenwell? No, there's a new branch in King's Cross. So you are a hipster. It'll be really hard to get into. We're always the last to go anywhere new. I want to be the first for a change. Then we'll get bragging rights. By the time everyone else is going there, we'll be like, oh no, we don't go there anymore. Or if someone comes up to me and they say, oh, have you been to the new toast in King's Cross? I'll be like, yeah, it's okay. Like I've been there a couple of times and now I'm a little bit over it. It's not your style, you're not a hipster. Why can't I try? Because hipsters don't have to try. Hipsters spend all their time trying. It'll be full of young people designing apps. Their facial hair will confuse you. It will make you feel uncomfortable and old. I can handle it. You can't. On your head be it. I can take a picture of brunch and put it on Facebook and that way everyone will know that we've been to the new toast, but in an unobvious way. You can't do that. Why not? Because putting photos of your food on Facebook is banned. Really? They banned that? No, I banned it. If you upload that, I'll have to unfriend you. Damn. Let's invite someone. Why? Because we never go anywhere. And this way, they'll think that we go places all the time. They'll think we're spontaneous and then they'll tell everyone else. That we're spontaneous? Right, and then pretty soon our reputation will be right back up there. All right, who? What about Alice and Tom? They're always going out. No, they'll be at the gym. Right. They'll be away on a weekend in Oxford. They're the kind of couple who know what they're doing in December and July. Everything about them's perfect. Their flat's perfect, their relationship's perfect, their bodies are perfect, their diaries are perfect. Besides, they're the one couple we know. They'll definitely have already been to New Toast. They're a very impressive couple. They probably know the owner. To them, it's already over. You know when you wanted to go to Tanzania and then Alice was like, guys, listen to me, you have to stay in the Victoria Lodge. It's where I always stay. And then when you wanted mm. to go to Cambodia, she'd been staying with the Prime oh, Minister's the daughter. daughter. So there's no point inviting them to the new toast. To them, it would be practically an insult. I'd be more new once to invite them to McDonald's. We need to find someone who's barely even heard of it. I know. I'll invite Jerry. He's single, he won't be doing anything. He'll come. Jerry won't come. How do you know? Just call him, you'll see. Bet Jerry will come, you'll see. Hi, Jerry. We're going to toast. Do you want to come? No, 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 not the Clerkenwell one, the new one in King's Cross. The Clerkenwell one's over. Oh, you can't? That's a shame. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, of course I understand. OK, bye. He can't come, he's got a new puppy. Told you. Well, why can't he leave the puppy by itself? The puppy destroys the flat. But what if he has an emergency? It turns out his neighbor's a professional dog sitter, but he charges seven pounds an hour. What, so he can never go out? Only if he got a full-time job to pay for the sitter, but then he'd have to work all week just to pay for doggy daycare. He's a prisoner in his own home. Oh, hi, Jerry. Ah, oh, you are going to meet us, great. Who's looking after the dog? Your sister. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, seven pounds an hour. Yeah, he told me. Hang on. You go and get a table and I'll tell Jerry where to meet us. So what type is it? A shit on what? OK, bye. They don't have a table. Well, they do have a table, but it's an hour and a half wait. An hour and a half. All I want is a bagel. What is this place? A Michelin star fucking restaurant? Is this the price you pay for wanting to be hip? You've only got yourself to blame. <sighs> I know. I'm starving. So am I. 
Let's go to old toast. I thought you said it was over. And that's just what I was going to tell people if we went to the new one. OK, the thing about the old toast is it's for the more sophisticated bruncher. The kind of person who's comfortable in their own skin and isn't swayed by the superficial trendiness of new toast. The kind of person who doesn't care what people think is hip. The kind of person who is, in fact, truly hip. Is that right? Definitely. We're getting into the danger zone. It's 12 o'clock. It's brunch rush hour. If we'd gone straight to the old one, we would have been OK, but we burned our bridges coming here. We could get caught between the old and new toast and fall into the chasm in the middle. No, it's going to be fine. There'll be plenty of room. No one goes to the old toast anymore. What happened about Jerry? You going to ring him and tell him to meet us there? No, he's not coming. He doesn't think the puppy's ready. The sitter turned up and he bit him. Jerry bit him? No, the puppy bit the sitter. You know, I'd have to take him on the tube and he hasn't trained it and it might see another dog and attack it, so... People who like animals fundamentally are uncomfortable with people. People disagree with you, people talk back. People who like animals don't want any of their opinions questioned. And if you think about it, people who really like animals, what animals do they like the most? Goldfish? Hamsters? No. They like something that takes up a lot of space but doesn't have a mind of its own, like a dog. It's like a person but it doesn't have any opinions. A dog will completely do whatever it is you want it to do and never answer back. As long as you feed it? Even if you don't feed it. And what about cats? Does that apply to cats? Because I really like cats. No, the rule doesn't apply with cats because cats don't give a fuck. They categorically refuse to do what you want. Categorically. So they can't be substituted for people. People never do what the fuck you want and neither does a cat, so it doesn't work. Beth used to have a cat that she trained to shake paws. Well, you see, what you have there is basically someone who wanted a dog but didn't want to put up with all the mouth dribble and the smell and the fur. I think Joey's got that puppy so he doesn't have to leave the house. Going out, having to talk to people, worrying about what they think of you. He just can't take it anymore. Plus, if he did go out, he'd have to get back on the dating scene, find a girlfriend, do all that girlfriend stuff watch movies he hates, eat food that sets off his IBS. They'd go out for a while, realise they have nothing in common, then he'd break up and have to start all over again. This is the perfect solution. Somebody rings him up and asks him to go out to the new hip brunch place. He says, I can't go out. It's the puppy. The man's a genius. Are you sure it's Jerry you're talking about? You get the papers, I'll get the table. Pretty soon we'll be in brunch heaven. What happened? An hour. An hour in not hip toast? How can you be expected to wait an hour for someone that's already over? That's what I said. The guy didn't seem interested. I've got an idea. We could go to marmalade. Marmalade. It's not as hip as toast. In fact, it's not hip at all. But if you think about it, it's where we should have gone all along. That would have been the truly hip choice. I really want to believe you. I wanted to go somewhere new. I wanted to go to new toast. I wanted to be hip. I know you did. But maybe we have to admit that we're more marmalade than toast kind of people. We need to find someone for Rachel. She's such a lovely girl. You must know someone. Out of all your friends, there's no one you can think of. Jerry? Oh, she hates dogs. I don't have any single friends anymore. They're either in a relationship or they're getting married or they're going through a difficult split. And if they're not in a relationship, they've given up on dating and acquired a puppy. What sort of guy is she looking for, anyway? You know, a nice guy. Thoughtful, interesting. But it's Stuart. He's nice and thoughtful. He likes helping people. That sounds perfect. Is Rachel bipolar? I don't think so. Oh, that's a shame, because he normally goes for girls who are bipolar. No one has a tendency for girls who are bipolar. Stuart does. <sighs> oh, she does get a little bit depressed sometimes. Does that count? Uh, I don't think so. Does she cut herself? I don't think so. Is she suicidal? Definitely not. Or even a little bit? No! Well, it's a shame, because it probably won't work. 
What about Ben? Ben mm. is in love. That's lovely. Oh, I love hearing about people who've found each other. Mm. With who? The 19-year-old Slovak waitress from Cafe Bohemia. Seriously? Technically, they're not seeing each other. He's ordered tea off her twice, and then he told her he was in love with her. And she said... She got a restraining order. <sighs> Don't you have any normal friends? You said you wanted thoughtful and interesting. Isn't she Jewish? Mm. What about a Jewish guy? Oh, yeah, like you know a lot of Jewish guys. Patrick's Jewish. Patrick is Irish. He's not Irish anymore, he's Jewish. Since when? Um, about six months ago. Now everything's Jewish this and Jewish that. He keeps posting photos of himself on Facebook at neo-Nazi rallies. Doing what? Fighting with neo-Nazis. He's very committed to his new identity. Patrick O'Driscoll doesn't sound very Jewish. He sounds Irish. His great-grandmother's Jewish. It doesn't mean he's Jewish. He says if it means he would have ended up in a concentration camp, then he's passed the test. It's not the only test. I said to him, I didn't know you were Jewish. And he pointed and said, with a face like this, I'm straight through those gates. He doesn't look particularly Jewish. That's what I said. He looks Irish. He's very enthusiastic about it. He says if it's good enough for Hitler, it's good enough for him. Would you like a Jewish guy? Oh, no, not really. She's had a string of bad relationships with Jewish guys. Mm. And she really likes Irish guys. Mm, that's a shame, because he's not Irish anymore. What did they say? They've stopped serving food. Motherfuckers! God, I'm starving. What the fuck is wrong with these people? I just want sodding brunch. I think we should go to Tesco, get some food, and have brunch at home. No, Tesco? Oh, we're meant to be going out to brunch. This whole exercise, we're supposed to stand for something. Sometimes you have to admit defeat. Hold your head up high and move on before you lose all dignity. Is that Tom? Hi. Didn't I just see you guys in toast? <laughs> Us? Yeah. Toast? With the impossibly cool one in King's Cross. Uh, not us. Definitely not us. No, we can't be doing with all that hanging around, waiting an hour for a table. No, it's... I haven't got the energy. We're over that kind of desperate behaviour. <laughs> no, I'm sure it was you. It's the guy wearing that scarf and someone wearing that coat. Maybe you've got brunch doppelgangers. Mm-hmm, could be. <laughs> it's us. Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> we couldn't get in. Then we tried to get into the old toast, and we couldn't get in there either, and then we tried to go to marmalade, and the kitchen's just shut. It's obviously not our scene. We're just not hip enough. I personally can't stand places like toast. Stuck-up staff, dickhead customers. I <laughs> thought you guys always went to places like Alice that. likes them. I like marmalade. It's simple, it's unpretentious. Me too. It's comforting. You can be who you are in marmalade. Yeah. We, we were going to invite you, but we thought you'd probably be in Cambodia. With the Prime Minister's daughter? No, it's the King's niece, Tanzania. I didn't think there was a king in Tanzania. Oh, well, thousands of them. So how's Alice? We split up. Oh, Tom, I'm so sorry. You guys seem so perfect for each other. Mm -hmm. You had so much in common. So I thought. I was wrong. Yeah, no, she, she likes going to gallery openings. Go to the latest brunch place. Huh. I like staying in with the DVD. She likes toast, I like marmalade. She's hip, I'm not like... hip. It's weird. I always thought you were more of a toast kind of guy. Just shows how wrong you can be. We always stay in. That's all we do. <laughs> That's funny. She thought you were the trendy ones. She said you were always busy. That's why we never invited you anymore. Us! <laughs> 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 Oh, you can't say trendy anymore. It's not hip. It's hip. Really? Who says? Oh, no. Oh, you're probably right. I can't be dealing with all that bollocks. I want to be able to say what I want to say, eat what I want to eat, and crap what I want to crap, without having to worry about what anyone thinks is fashionable or trendy or whatever. I'm with you. Me too. Right, well, um, say hi to Alice next oh, time you see her. We're not really talking at the moment. She's got a new boyfriend. You see seeing the new chef from the pudding? <laughs> oh, Tom. It's all right. She's probably better off anyway. Huh. Anyway, yeah, well, I'll see you then.
Yeah. See you around. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we'll yeah. call you back yeah. tomorrow or something. Yeah, see yeah. ya. Oh my god, that's really sad. I don't know. Why? What? So he's probably relieved, all that going to toast when you're more of a marmalade kind of guy. That stuff can mess with your head. I should probably ring Alice, see how she's doing. She's probably in Mauritius with the Minister of Defence's cousin. <laughs> I had a dream last night. Chris Martin was giving away all our stuff. Why? I don't know. First he gave away our sofa, then our fridge, and then our TV to charity. That's a bit rich. Why doesn't he give away his own stuff? He can bloody afford it. That's what I said to him, but he just kind of smiled to himself. I was really angry at first, but by the time he gave away everything, I'd calmed down. Delicious. We never made it to brunch. This is brunch. If you have brunch and nobody knows about it, is it still brunch? I know about it. I'm eating it. I wanted to be ahead of the curve just for once. We're riding the curve right now. Maybe Chris Martin was trying to tell you something. <laughs> Maybe hipsters aren't really that hip after all. At least we have each other. Unless you're planning to leave me for the chef from Toast. I hear he makes very tasty bagels. Would you leave me for a bagel? I have all the bagels I need. <laughs>